Hi everyone, hope everyone is uh, doing well. Uh, today I will be showing you how to automate uh, checkbox to select all those checkbox that are unchecked. So this is uh, actually a reply to my video. Uh, part 2 of 2 automate checkbox selection of a web page using UI elements. Um, so I have a user who messaged me yesterday, commented, sorry. He's, he asked whether I have a video that shows a page with multiple checkbox. And I want to select only the ones that are in unchecked status. So basically, what he means is uh, if he comes across to come across uh, with this uh, checkbox that are unticked, he wants power to desktop to tick, right? So have you have two ticks. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to do this. So if you are new to my channel, please remember to subscribe. And also, please uh, click on the uh, notifications button. Uh, of course, you can also uh, buy me coffee by clicking on the PayPal bu button. Um, so let's start. Hello, everyone. My name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So let me go to Power Automate Desktop. So the first thing you want to do is uh, put a loop, right? And that depends on how many uh, checkbox uh, squares you have. Um, so over here I have two, uh, but uh, you, you can have uh, more, right? So what you do is uh, loop, start from zero and to 10 increment by one, right? The rest you can leave it as a default. Then you use a set checkbox state in window, right? So for this, you need to uh, click on add UI element, right? So what you do is, you hover around the uh, checkbox, right? So you click on control and uh, left click. Right. Um, then you put set checkbox state to check. Right. So I, um, then uh, another important thing is uh, you have to do this uh, on error rule. Right, so sometimes it won't find uh, anything to check. So if it finds uh, an error, right, you just continue flow run and then uh, click on go to label, right, and select label. So sorry, so before you do this, right, create a label after the end, right, just anything. Uh, next steps and then you can put all your other uh, steps in the flow uh, after this label right so going back to here uh, on error continue flow run go to label uh, next steps uh, and then click on save right and then um, you, you go back uh, to your main screen and click on this UI elements and then you double click on uh, your chat box so this is checkbox default uh, checkbox 3 so what you do is uh, you double click on it right so very important go to step number four uh, make sure you only tick check and uh, visible here right the rest you can uh, leave it as blank unless you want to you know put a name to specify maybe just start with uh, a or b or c 
right? or you can use a regular expression match. For me, for us, this sample will be very uh, easy. Um, so you want to check uncheck box, right? So your check have to equal to false first. So check equals to false means uh, it's not checked. Right? So tick on check equal to false. Right? Then another important thing is visible equal to true. So that uh, whatever the screen sees, right? It will, it will only see these two check box. It will only uh, check these two. So it won't go around and check everything. Uh, it won't go around and check um, uh, other check check box in uh, in in uh, in other areas of the website. So hopefully, all your check box is in one screen, right? So so that it will only check all these uh, check box that is appearing in the screen, right? Uh, so then you save. So the rest, I think I left it as default. So this is just to let you see what has been ticked and not ticked. All right? And then you press save, right? So uh, let's run. So you see it it ticks, right? Yeah, it will go under here as well because uh, it, it can see there's uh, another checkbox here. So just make sure all the checkbox that you want to tick is, is appearing in just one screen. Yep. So, yeah, you can set your loop index. Just, just customize it to what you need. Right, most important thing is you have this uh, on, on errors. Um... So let me demo again. If let's say I only have uh, one check checkbox. So let's see whether you can just check on one box. Yeah, so you couldn't find other checkbox, you should finish. Yeah, see, the loop index is 1, right? It, actually, it should loop to 10, right? But then it loop to 1, then it can't see anything else, then it will just end uh, and then go to uh, next steps because of this uh, error, error handling. So I hope this video will help you. Uh, if you like this video, please give this video a like. Uh, I will see See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.